Hey all, welcome to Learn Biology again and this is Narasimhan. Today the topic which we are going to discuss about is Amoeba. Uh, basically, in the 6th standard, we have to learn Amoeba. It's easy to marks and then it's pretty much easy. Uh, but things which we don't know about Amoeba. So that's what we discuss going, we're going to discuss today. Okay, so in the cell structure is pretty much easy and we know that like Amoeba is an irregular shape. And it doesn't have a definite shape and size. So amoeba consists of a single cell. Uh, it is a consumer. Basically, what is a single cell? What is a cell? detailed video So the people who haven't seen out of it's there on the description link. check Okay, basically it's a consumer, which means amoeba cannot prepare their own food. Uh, photosynthesis it doesn't have a chlorophyll. So it want to depend on a prey cells. So amoeba is unicellular organism. So, adhika, so it basically feeds on a small plants and animal cells and even small small bacteria. So amoeba is where you can see it. You can see normal lakes, ponds and the other things. In fresh water, la basic amoeba is where you can see it. And it will be on the sedimentation at the end of the soil. Okay. So basically this is the structure of amoeba. Uh, sir, in the picture, I am going to go to the Yeah, that's pretty much cool. Uh, we are going to talk about a couple of things which is very unique for an amoeba. Our nucleus, uh, chromatic reticulum, gold key apparatus, we are going to talk about all of that. We are going to talk about the cell in the cell. So, we are going to talk about that. In the session, we are going to talk about pseudopodia and contractile vacuoles. How a pseudopodia work? What is a food vacuole and what is a contractive vacuole? Vacuoles are the same way in the video. Uh, so, food vacuole and contractile vacuole are the difference. Food vacuole is prepared and contractile vacuole is prepared. What is the endoplasm? What is the ectoplasm? So, we will talk about this. Okay. So, in a microscope, we will see this in a microscope. And the outermost layer of uh, amoeba is a cell membrane or it's also a semi-permeable membrane. Semi-permeable membrane means it determines what's to go in and what's not to go in. Okay, it doesn't allow everything. And then you can clearly see the outermost layer of a cell of an amoeba is called as an ectoplasm, and the inner gray area is called as an endoplasm. Okay. So basically, endoplasm consists of the food vacuoles and waste materials, and ectoplasm is a soft place where the pseudopodia is getting developed. Okay. And basically, this is called as a pseudopodia, a false leg or false feet, whatever you call it as. Pseudopodia, or amoeba, in the portion, in the it doesn't have any kind of definite place or size, and in the direction, in the it can travel. Okay. So basically, I think now pseudopodia first, other ecto, ectoplasm now in the develop agon, and then endoplasm slowly it will get fall off into it. So if you're going to see that. This is the ectoplasm which is getting developed and the endoplasm is slowly coming in. Okay, so how this is basically used to, to capture the prey. Okay, so FD Sir Park uh, and this is the picture of a pseudopodia. And here is a food vacuole. Okay, uh, this is how a food vacuole, uh, once the pseudopodia covers the prey, this is how a food vacuole will look like. And the digestive enzyme will just get poured into the food vacuole so that it will get digested and the cell can use it whenever it's required okay so basically in the this is a best example like every or pseudopodia works are going to if you're going to look the picture one this is a small foot and here is a pseudopodia is getting developed and if you're going to see the pseudopodia is just covering up the food particles and then you can see it's just almost there and here the food vacuole has been completely arrested so after which uh, the cell will start secreting the digestive enzyme men. <coughs> I'm sorry. So basically, uh, the number of the carbohydrate, protein and fat are digested in the food enzymes. Uh, it's like a very primitive level of a digestion. Okay. Okay. Now come to contractile vacuole. Contractile vacuole is a very, very unique thing for an amoeba to make it stable. As we all know, there is something called as an osmosis. Osmosis is a particle, a molecule which is moving from a, a higher concentration to lower concentration to make it stable. Okay. So, amoeba, amoeba, inside you have a higher concentration 
and water la irukadnala water la you can see a lower concentration so indha madri irukke che ipo or simple ana example solrena or chakra kattiye vandu thanni kulla pottingna enna aagana konja nerathula chakra complete a karanjiru it will completely get dissolved so abbi irukke che indha madri or higher concentration ulliyum lower concentration velliye irukke che enna aagana water will get rushes into amoeba so if it get rushes into amoeba what will happen is the amoeba will get keep bulging 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 at one point it will get burst off Oh my God! So, every time I'm about to hear about it, every time the it getting stable, I'm being getting now. That's where this contractile vacuole comes into picture. Okay. So this is what an osmosis I'm talking about. Uh, the particles from the outer outer side would be a lower concentration and inner side would be a higher concentration. So the particle will keep pouring in and which will make an amoeba bulge and burst at one point. Okay. So in order to avoid this, what will happen? A small vacuole. will get created at the center almost at the center of an amoeba okay that's called as a contractile vacuole uh, food vacuole ngirundha vende pathina pseudo podia cover panni or food spray vende arrest panadukapra it will come from outer layer to inner layer but contractile vacuole in say inner layer la or chinna da or bubble madri form aagum and the bubble inna agona it will ulle vara water ya vende pathina it will arrest it okay so higher concentration in the lower con i'm sorry lower concentration in higher concentration vara water excess water it will just keep capturing so the bubble will get bigger and bigger and bigger and then it will get pushed out to the outermost layer of the amoeba so when it comes to end it will just burst off okay so this way the water which is getting absorbed by the amoeba is all again getting pushed out to the outer surface okay so this will help the cell to sustain and to maintain the osmosis okay so basically this is what the thing is the contract vacuole is said to be responsible for osmo regulation without it the amoeba will expand and burst off okay so i think this will help you guys to understand more about amoeba any questions you can put it on the comments and any kind of suggestions uh, anything you want an explanation more or any topics please add it on your comments uh, i will be helpful i will be happy to help you guys thank you see you on another video